Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video we're going to be advancing upon our traffic lights or traffic system, whatever it is you want to call it. But in the previous episode what we did was we created this traffic light which is going to go from red, amber, red and amber, green, all the different variations which you have and work how we want. In today's video what we're going to be doing is setting up a system in which allows us to find the player if they go through a red light. So this is great for driving simulation games, racing games, or any kind of open world game where you can drive. Whatever it is you want, this is going to allow us to find the player if they go through a red light. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see the light is red and it's now going to go to green. If I were to go through as green, nothing is going to happen. I can go through as normal. If I were to turn my car around, wait for it to go red and then go through again, we should notice that it will then be giving us a fine. And you'll notice now it is red, so if I were to go through now, it will give me a red light fine, which you can see in the top left. At the moment, all I've got is a print string just to simulate it, however I will be showing you how to properly set it up as well. I just don't have a system like that set up, but it's very easy to implement, which again I will be showing you. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our traffic light BP, which we created in the previous video. Now if you haven't got that, I will leave a link in the description down below and on screen now to where you can watch it. So if you control space and open up our traffic light BP, the first thing I did was in the previous episode I made a slight mistake. I had the colours going from green, amber, red, whereas it should obviously be the other way around, it should be red, amber, green. So all I've done is just move them about, change them so you notice this one is now red, amber, green, like so. So make sure you do that as well if that's what you wanted. And then after this, what we want to do is actually then set up the passing point of our traffic light. So what I mean by that is when the player goes past this point, they've then passed through the traffic light. So I'm going to be using a box collision for this. So if I just select traffic light BP self, add box collision, we now have this passing point here. We obviously want to put this in the correct position for us. So this will also be different for each traffic light asset you're using. So if you are using a different mesh to me, you want to set this up differently. But essentially, I want it to just be alongside here. So when the player passes this pole here, they've gone through the traffic light. I can obviously set it up going diagonally across here as well if I wanted to, but I'm not going to bother setting up that detail today, as for me, just this point here is going to be fine. So you can obviously set it up custom for your own mesh. So what I'm going to do is just move this into position and then also scale it up to be the correct size as well. And now for me to get the correct size I want, what I'm going to do is minimize this ever so slightly, like so, and then have a look at it in the real world here. So I can see the box is there, that's currently in the wrong position, so let me rotate it and move it to where I want to be on the road, like so. And then you'll notice it's not quite big enough, so let me just continue scaling it up until it does reach the correct size. I think that's going to be good. We'll go off the road a little bit as well, just so the player can't go around it too much. However, I'm not going to go that far. And then let me just increase the height of it a little bit as well, perfectly like so. So I think that is going to work well for me. I can obviously make it bigger and do go into more detail if I wanted, but for me, this is going to be fine. And what I could even do is maybe just bring it forward a little bit, just so it's like that, so it is there then where the traffic light actually is if that's what I wanted as well, which I think I will do. So again, obviously set this up for your own mesh, which you have. So we'll compile and save that. Now, if you're using this traffic light blueprint everywhere in your world and in your level, I imagine the road sizes will be slightly different. So for example, last time we set it up so we can start the color on different ones and have the durations be different for each instance of this light. We also want to do the same for the size of the road and the passing point. So what we're gonna do is go into our construction script, drag in a reference to our box collision, and out of this, we want to set relative transform like so. Connecting that in there. We're gonna right click the new transform and promote it to a variable, naming this pass through collision, as that makes the most sense for me. And we're gonna compile, save, and make sure we make that instance editable by ticking the little I there. So this means we can change it for every instance of this traffic light once again to make it different for each road we have. And what I'm going to do is just set the default values to be the value I just set up for this. So I'm going to right click on the location and copy on the actual box collision, then go to the variable, right click on location and paste. And I'm going to do the same for the rotation and the scale as well. 
So again, the default values of this are going to be what I have for this specific one here. And then I can obviously change it for each individual instance as well. So if I compile, save and minimize that, you can see we have a box collision here. If I had to drag in another traffic light, what I can do is then also just change this collision to make it bigger, smaller and move it into different positions like so. You'll also notice this one is slightly smaller. That's just because this instance I in here, I've scaled up to be 1.5 just so it's a bit easier to see in the tutorial. But that is what we've got here like so. I think that's going to work perfectly. And so what we want to do now is we want to create a blueprint interface. So we're going to go to control space to open our content browser, right click, go to blueprints, create a blueprint interface. And I'm going to name this traffic lights interface like so. Opening it up straight away. And we're doing this just for a nice and easy and efficient way to communicate between different blueprints. So in here, we're going to create a function and I'm just going to call this red light fine. As that makes the most sense for me, this function is to be to find a player if they've gone through a red light. So we will compile and save that. And that's all we need to do here. So we can close this interface perfectly like so. Then in our traffic light BP, we want to right click on our box collision, add event, add on components begin overlap and this basically means when the player goes into the passing collision which we've set up here so when they go through the traffic light we want to see if it's on red or not and so that is why in the previous episode we once again created this traffic light color enum which we can now just drag and drop into here like so out of this we're going to get a switch on enum connecting that into the begin overlap and now you can see we have this here so we can see if when the player goes through the traffic light if it's on green, amber, red, or red and amber. Now we want to find the player if it's on red. So that's gonna be red and red and amber. So we're gonna come out of other actor on the begin overlap and then simply search for red light fine and we'll get a message here. Connect that into red and red and amber. So essentially when the player or any actor passes through this traffic light, if it is on red or red and amber, we're going to find that actor or that player, that AI, whatever it is, we're going to find them for passing through the red light. So we can compile and save that and that is now fully set up for us. All we need to do now is the specific finding system. So we can close this and then open up our player blueprint, the AI blueprint, the car blueprint, whatever it is that you are controlling that you want to find. So for me again, that is going to be the car blueprint. So I'm gonna open that up here. That is going to be in vehicle template blueprints sports car sports car porn and once you have your blueprint opened we're going to go to class settings and under interfaces you see we have no interfaces we're going to add the interface we just created was traffic light interface for me click that there and you'll notice on the left we now have an interfaces tab we're going to open that double click red light fine and we now have this function or this event here which will be called when we go through a red light so here is where you're gonna do your fine code. Now, if you're setting up a fine system, I imagine you also have a currency system. So what you can do is just get money and then minus a certain amount. So let's say you have your money variable and you're gonna minus 100 or minus 200 or 500, whatever it is you wanna do, and then set that again. Once again, for me, I don't have a system like that set up, but it's incredibly easy to do, as I just said. So all I'm gonna do is a simple print string just to show it's working, saying red, light fine and then I'll put a hundred pounds don't know how realistic that one is but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set the color to be red because it's obviously bad and I'll set the duration to be 10 seconds just so we can see it nice and easily and I'm gonna compile save and close that that's now the code fully done working and set up for us so let's hit play you'll notice it's on red if I to wait it's on green I can now go through nothing bad will happen. I'm not gonna get a fine as we went through on green. And if I had to go all the way back around, wait for it to go on red and go through, we should then get a red light fine. So it's now gone to red like so. I'll go through and we've got a red light fine for 100 pounds as you saw there, working perfectly like so. And if I had to open this bit back up here, where you do this, so for me it's a print string, but again for you, it might be taking money away you can also maybe put on a widget saying that you have been fined. And I'll leave a link in the description and on screen now to again where you can put, you can fade on widgets on and off screen, which would help with this as well. 
And if you do want further help with that, or you do want a video dedicated to that as well, so a part two for this, do let me know in the comments down below. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. We've set up a system in which we can find the player for going through a red light, as you saw there, and this will not find them if they go through a green light, it's only red or red and amber. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.